friends. I am working on my coffee as you can see. That powder that you see in there is a um, combination of my fiber that I take every day for my IBS and collagen. Collagen powder. But I was working on getting my video published and I decided I wanted to include in the description some other of my social media that we can, uh, you know, connect with. I don't do Twitter and all of that junk, but I do have a Facebook and um, a blog. And so I went on my blog and I changed the name of it because it was Poultry Palooza and I changed it to Cheryl's Country Home so that we're all the same. And so I've got going to have that linked on my videos and then also my Facebook page but I decided I wanted to open and start a new page just for my YouTube channel so it's also called Cheryl's Country Home and it's going to be where all my YouTube subscribers can um, you know subscribe to me there um, my, my personal Facebook page I I have some of you that I know really well um, on there as my friends but I'd like to invite all my subscribers to join me on Facebook but my personal page is too personal for people that I don't know to be on so if you asked me my friend on Facebook and I haven't um, verified your invitation it's because I don't know who you are so go ahead and click on the link to my um, country shells country home Facebook page and request a friendship there and I will uh, verify it there. Um, just make sure and tell me that you are subscribed to me here on YouTube. That way I can kind of figure out who is who. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast and then I got to get out and do my chores. I had a mishap in my microwave and I got chicken blood all over it. Don't ask. <laughs> So now I need to disinfect my microwave and I picked up this little gadget on off of a I don't know online somewhere and it's called Angry Mama and what you do is you fill it up to where it says vinegar you put white vinegar and then you fill it the rest of the way with water so then you put the little lid on it there's her face and there's her hair and the top of her head has holes where the steam will come out then you put it in your microwave and you set it for seven minutes and the vinegar water mixture boils away boils up into the microwave creates a steam in there that loosens all the crud and it also disinfects so then once angry mom is all done all you have to do is wipe the um, microwave out my, my microwave doesn't look too bad right now because Olivia just did angry mama not too long ago but because I sp spilt chicken blood all over in there, I want to disinfect it. So, we'll put Angry Mama to work. So there it is, all done. Like I said, it doesn't look a whole lot different because it had been cleaned not that long ago. But at least now it's completely disinfected. Now the only thing about the, the Angry Mama that you might not like is that it does make your house smell like vinegar. So the black eyed peas are getting blossoms, but no peas yet. Travis can hardly wait for those. He loves black eyed peas. Everybody in our family does. But the green beans are ready. And the kids are picking them. Not very enthusiastically, I might add, but they are picking them. And we'll have them with our dinner tonight. We have to really move the push bushes up and look underneath. Green beans like to hide. Look at the corn. And our cucumbers are doing okay. No cucumbers yet, which I'm anxiously awaiting. And this is the melon. And I saw a little baby melon on here yesterday. Oh, there it is. Look at the 
the little baby melon. Ooh, that zucchini is ready. It is ready. This one's ready. There's my dad up in the kids pick green beans. So we got this whole bowl full, or almost full, from half a row of green beans. That was pretty good. And I'm going to give about a third of these to my dad, and I'll fix up the rest and have some of them for dinner tonight, and the rest will probably stick in the freezer. This is what we had for dinner that night. We had a loose meat sandwich, which is basically ground meat, and in this case was ground turkey. You fry it up and season it how you want to, and then you can kind of treat it like a hamburger with, I put ketchup and mustard and onion on mine, and I had it on a Joseph's pita, low carb. And then the green beans were the ones that we just picked that today, and what I did is that I put them in some boiling water for about five minutes. I drained them really well and transferred them to a frying pan and with a little olive oil, salt and pepper and sauteed them up and they were absolutely delicious and then we had chips on the side and I had blue corn chips. Happy Tuesday everyone. Um, hope you're having a good week. I'm, mine's been pretty good so far. Very uneventful. This is last week I was really busy and went several places and this week I'm pretty much getting to stay home and the very exciting thing that happened today is that I got a package. I got it all the way from Australia. Um, I was in the bathroom just getting, you know, getting myself together this morning and I heard a honking outside and I said, Olivia, go out and, and get it. I knew it was the mail person and mail carrier and so she had to sign for it and she came back in and said, you've got a package from Australia. And I'm like, what? And it's from my friend Carolyn. So I can't wait to see what's in here. And Carolyn, I saw how much you paid for postage. <laughs> You shouldn't have. So when Olivia said it was from Australia, you always when you send something overseas to a different country, you have to fill out a form and you know write down what's in the box. So I had her take that part off because I didn't want to see what was in the box before I opened it. So here we go. And there's a really nice, there's a card on front. I'm sure it's a really nice card. So let me open that. And things are wrapped up nicely and tissue paper. So sweet of you, Carolyn. I can't even, it's not even my birthday. Just because. Oh, there's a, um, there's a whole letter in here. I'm not going to read it out loud and I'll read it later. So I'm really curious to see what's in this box, but we know it's just because. And I think that is so sweet. is wrapped. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, uh oh, my daughter's going to steal this. It's a scarf with foxes on it. Isn't that cute? Although I have to say right now, foxes are not my favorite thing because it killed my rooster, but that is adorable and it's, oh, it's so nice. Can't wait to wear it this fall. Oh, it's nice and big. Look at that. I love it. And I bet you anything, my daughter's going to be trying to steal it from me. She's been an advocate for this fox all this time. I keep thinking we need to shoot it, and she keeps thinking we need to live catch it and take it and release it somewhere else. I just say, if it stays away from my ducks and chickens, then I won't have to worry about it. And, he don't, and it won't have to worry about it. Okay, so what's this? Oh, kangaroo. I'm not sure what it is yet. I'll open it up. But I love the box. Oh, it's a mug. How cool. Look at that. That is so cute. 
called a bridled nail tail or flash jack wallaby. So it's a wallaby, not a kangaroo. How cute. It's so adorable. And everything's packaged so nicely. She's got this in bubble wrap. Like it's Christmas. Oh, oh, how cute! I'm assuming that's a kookaburra. Maybe you tell me if I'm right, Carolyn, in the comments. But it sure is cute. Oh. husband is going to be so surprised when he comes home and sees all this. And we were kind of having a bad day today anyway because, oh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh my goodness, another Christmas. Oh, platypus. Oh, how cute. I'm not going to want to put these up till Christmas. I'm going to want to put them out now. Platypuses are the most unique creatures I've, I've ever heard about. Oh, this is kind of heavy. Oh, they're coasters with birds on them. I'm not sure what kind of birds. I don't know if it says on the back. I'm going to have to get my eyes here. It doesn't say. It just said it's desi designed in Australia. And it's porcelain. Oh, those are beautiful. Love them. Some kind of a parrot, obviously. Australia ornaments. Oh, how cool. Oh, and a doxy. <laughs> oh, look at the angel doxy ornament. Oh, that is so cute. And then she's got a koala bear. And of course, a kangaroo. It wouldn't be Australia if it wasn't didn't have kangaroos and wallabies and all of these. Oh, they're so cute. I can't wait for Christmas now. So I can put these on my tree. And we got one more thing. Feel soft. Makes me so happy. Presents are so sweet. This is. Oh, tea towels! They match the um, they match the coaster. Oh, how pretty are those? Oh my goodness, it's a cockatoo. They don't exactly match, but I mean they're not exactly the same bird, but they're the same colors. There's, that is so pretty. And then this one's got all different kinds of birds, Australian birds. Oh, they're so nice and big. I don't I don't think I'm going to let the kids use them for lawn for dishes. I'm going to have to use them for a decorative purpose somehow. Oh, Carolyn, that was so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. I love absolutely everything and I'll think of you every time I look at these, and honestly, I just don't think, I just don't think I can put these away till Christmas. <laughs> They're so, so special. Thank you, Carolyn. You don't know how much this means to me. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you. So 
I just read the card and the scarf was meant for Olivia. <laughs> You're right, she will like it, but maybe I'm going to have to be the one that steals it from her. <laughs> oh. oh, Carolyn, you are so sweet. And the Christmas decorations she meant to send last year, and she calls herself the world's worst correspondent. No, you're not. You're the sweetest correspondent. dinner Tuesday night we had peas and the family had chicken and noodles with regular pasta and I had my chicken gravy over zoodles which is the, were the zucchini noodles now these were the zucchini noodles that I had frozen and put in the freezer and I will have to say that the texture was not great um, so I would not recommend freezing them unless you don't mind a mushier texture but I really didn't care for the texture of the frozen zucchini noodles. So from now on, I will be making them from fresh. Happy Wednesday, friends. Um, I'm having one of those days where I just don't feel like doing anything. It's already noon. I'm just getting ready to get my breakfast. I did exercise and did my chores, of course. Those are not an option. Got out of the shower and I've got so much to do. I was going to work outside today, but take a look. It's a beautiful day, beautiful sunny day with white puffy clouds in the sky, but it is so hot. Oh, you guys, it is hot. It is such a hot one. And I just, I don't, do not have the energy to be out in this heat. I was going to work out in the coop. So that will have to maybe happen tomorrow. So yeah, it's too hot. It is just too hot outside. I just don't want to go out there in that heat. So let me get my lunch and maybe that will energize me a bit so that I can get some work done in the house. And I'll bring you along. This is my lunch today. I have an iceberg lettuce salad. This is um, everything on this, uh, in this bowl is organic as far as the produce goes. Um, I have some shredded carrot, and this is the very first cucumber from our garden. So excited about that. I have some peppers on there, some raw almonds, uh, just a sprinkling of sunflower seeds, and the protein source is some fried um, seasoned ground turkey. So I ate my lunch, and then I sat in the chair for about an hour and watched gun smoke on television. <laughs> I like that old western. I just cannot get myself motivated today, but I thought while I'm putting together this broccoli salad that I just have a little chit chat with you. I woke up and I didn't really want to get up. That's always a bad sign. And I was out doing my chores. I'd been up for about an hour. I went out and did my chores and this is getting so sleepy. I don't know. I don't know what my, my problem is. I don't know if it's because I'm not eating enough protein. That, poss that could possibly be it. Or maybe not enough carbs. If I don't eat enough carbs, I get... I lose my energy. But I'm on this new eating plan. Referred to it a few times. Um, called Trim Healthy Mama. And it's, it's not supposed to be considered a diet. It's just supposed to be considered a way of life, a way of eating. And I do think I am starting to lose some weight at certain points. And I just don't have any energy. And I don't know if I'm just not eating enough calories, which very well could be it. Um, I had an eating disorder when I was a teenager. Um, and a lot of times when I go on a... a quote-unquote diet or I change the way I eat 
my brain automatically goes to anorexia mode. Where, and what I mean by that is I keep thinking, my mind is, is conditioned to think that in order to lose weight, I have to reduce the amount of food I eat. Anyway, I'm just trying to retrain my thinking um, to realize that in order to lose weight, I don't have to starve myself. And I've been eating, but I think I'm eating foods that are too low in calories, maybe, and not enough protein, and I think probably not enough fat. It's been an ongoing struggle my whole life. I've struggled with body image and weight loss, and like I said, I was anorexic when I was a teenager, and all of that. Problem. Shared in my videos from a year ago, you know, my weight loss journey and how much I was exercising, etc., etc. And then I hurt my knee and I couldn't exercise as much. And then I had to end up not exercising at all about the, around the first of the year. And so it was not surprising to me that I started to gain some weight back. So about six weeks ago or so, I went to the doctor and he did some blood work. And lo and behold, my thyroid is all messed up. And that's why I was gaining weight so quickly. And the thing about that that's frustrating to me is that I have had a thyroid problem for 16 years. When Olivia was a baby, my thyroid went wonky, caused by a viral infection. I had an upper respiratory infection, and it caused my thyroid to go get all messed up. Well, about a year ago, my doctor, my family doctor, told me that maybe I could try going off my thyroid medicine and to see if my thyroid would kick back in and do what it was supposed to do. And at the time I thought, oh, I don't like the sound of that. So I didn't do it right away. I didn't take his advice right away. I waited for a while. And then I got to thinking about it and I thought, well, if I don't need to be on this thyroid medicine, then it's not good for my body to be on it. So I decided, sure, I'll, I'll try it. So I weaned myself off of my thyroid medication. Well, <laughs> come to find out, the doctor was completely wrong. And I learned that lesson the hard way. So but anyway, all of that long chat to tell you I'm feeling really tired today, and I am not motivated to do a whole lot of anything. So I think I'm going to get this um, salad finished up. I'm almost done with it. And get it in the refrigerator for supper tonight. And probably go down and watch some YouTube videos. Because it's hot outside, and... Um, I just don't feel like doing anything. This is what we had for dinner that night. We had turkey legs that I cooked in the crock pot. Some of that broccoli salad that you saw me make. The family had fried potatoes to go with their meal, but I made myself a lettuce salad and I sprinkled it with sunflower seeds and honey mustard dressing. Happy Thursday, friends. I am on my way to the Dollar General, which is not the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, the closest one we have is about 15 or 20 minutes from our house, and but there's a Dollar General within about five miles of our house. So I opted to go to the Dollar General um, to get some organizing bins before a project that I have been putting off and putting off and putting off. And today is a very rainy day. It's going to be another probably all day rain so I can't do a whole lot outside so I am going to tackle this project this organizing project that I've been putting off and I will show you when I get back 
the organizing bins that I got and the project that I need to get done. Now I know I'll probably spend more at the Dollar General for these organizing bins, but I weighed the option of driving all the way to the Dollar Tree and the time and the gas and I just decided that going to the closer store is better. So I'll bring you back when, um, when I get back. I'll pick you back up and show you what I've got on my plans for today. Well, I was wrong about the weather. The rain finally stopped, and all the free rangers are out. Ever since Ollie died, the rest of the chickens are coming closer and closer to our yard. He used to keep them away. Virginia's mama is in that group somewhere, and she's got three new chicks. She kind of stays off by herself, though. So I'm not sure where she's at, at right now. If I see her, I'll try to film her. This is what I'm having for lunch today. Uh, we had one turkey leg left over from dinner last night, so I'm having that. And then I'm having some more of that broccoli salad. Um, according to the package, there's only 160 calories for one turkey drumstick, so that's pretty awesome. And um, I am feeling like I have more energy today. I'm not as sleepy as I was. So I'm thinking that I do have a lack of protein in my diet because I did have a whole turkey leg with my dinner last night. And I'm going to ha obviously have one for my lunch today. So we'll just see, see if that was, is what the problem is. This is the mess. I'm almost ashamed to show it to you. This is my office slash craft room slash where I hang out when I'm trying to work on stuff. And it also is the dump room. If we don't know what to, where to put something, the kids bring it down and throw it in my office. And I have struggled and struggled and struggled to try to keep this space organized. But it's a very small space. Um, like, there's one wall. <laughs> And there's the other wall. I'm not sure how big it is. 12 by 24 maybe. <clears throat> and I had a lot of stuff packed in this room. Like here's my sewing machine. And there's my ironing board. And all, most of this stuff is from the kids' graduation open house party. When we cleaned up everything... I, I would just say, well, go put that in my office. Go put that in my office. Go put that in my office. And I just have not had the energy or the... Well, let's face it. I've been too lazy, and I haven't wanted to deal with it. Um, I can make all the excuses in the world, but it really just comes down to I procrastinated it, and I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it today. But it's just it's beyond ridiculous. There's Pepper on her bed. Um... There's uh, spring decor that's down here, uh, yarn from a project that I'm done with that I need to put away, um, Dollar Tree stuff that I did in my Dollar Tree haul, old bills. What do you do with old paperwork? I don't even know what to do with it. Um, you know, just uh, any number of things. Coffee. It's my coffee stash. Uh, my nutrition and essential oil books, um, my computer. Hi Michelle, I'm watching you. Um, you know, here's my printer, uh, everything. You know, here's my exercise bike. I turn it towards my computer when I exercise. And, you know, that's a box of stuff for Goodwill. I mean, just all kinds of junk in here. And I've got to do something because I want to work on crafts, I want to work on quilts, and I just, you know, like, right there, buried, is my rotary cutting board and for my quilting. So I can't do anything in here. Um, what's, the, what's the saying? Um, a creative mind has a, a messy space, or the messy space is a sign of a creative mind. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But my whole rest of my house is completely organized and tidy. Everything is in its place and everything has a place. 
but my office is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to be working on this today. I'm going, I don't know that I'll get it done, but I'm going to work on this today, and I'm going to get this organized. And the Dollar General did have organizing bins almost exactly like Dollar Tree, and they were for a dollar. So I'll just show you real quick what I picked up. I think this is meant for um, cutlery, but I'm just going to use it for pens and who knows what, just little odds and ends things to organize. Um, I got two of these. Oh, let me get these out of the bag. Hold on. I got two of the large bins. Um, I got, we got one of these. And then I got two of these medium sized solid bins with the handles. And then this isn't for organizing, this is just because I needed it. Um, I needed a new makeup brush. So this was only $3, and the bristles are really super soft. It's a Wet n Wild brand. And then I got a package of dry erase markers because we need those. Had them on my list, and I saw them at the Dollar General for $2. So I thought, hey, I don't think I could beat that price at Walmart. And then um, I picked this up for, um, it was on clearance for a dollar, like a little shadow box. And I'll just throw this in my craft stash and use it for a craft project at some point. And then the thing that's really, really cute, I'll show you that I, that I couldn't pass up. Hold on. I got these stacking um, little, like, suitcase crate thingies. This is a small one. It says blessed, and it was $2.00. And then the medium one says choose happiness and it was three dollars and they're a real sturdy cardboard and they got a really nice um, you know metal and I'm gonna use these for organizing somehow in my office not sure yet exactly how but somehow and then I got the large one it says hello lovely and it was four dollars and they had an even bigger one um, for five dollars but I didn't need I didn't need that one I needed I needed smaller things so I'm gonna turn back turn Michelle back on and I'm gonna watch her and listen to her um, and I'm gonna get organizing and when I I don't know if I'll like I said I don't know if I'll get this done today but when I have made a visible difference in this room I will bring you back and I will show you what I have gotten done well guys, it's been a couple of hours and you can definitely see a difference. I've not really been like rushing. If I had like really rushed, I'd probably have more done by now. But I'm just kind of taking my time and going through everything. Um, this stuff over here, I know I am not going to get to this stuff today. Most of that, I'm going to get my ironing board cleaned off, but the rest of that stuff is the last remnants of my homeschooling stuff that I really don't want to get rid of but I don't know where to put them and store them so I have to find a place to store them and all of that mess right there is my scrapbooking stuff paper and stickers and all of that and I have not been able to work on my scrapbooks in a really long time but that is one thing that I do want to start doing again but I'm going to have to get that all organized. And you know, there's more scrapbooking stuff. This thing was from, I used during my co-op teaching days. I think I'm just going to have them, you know, Travis take that outside and we'll just get rid of it. But yeah, we're, we're getting there. Um, my goal is to get this counter completely cleaned off and get all of this over here um, cleaned up and get the floor clear and vacuum. And of course the ironing board. I, I got to get that cleaned off so that I can work on quilts. But that was just a little update. And right now I'm watching Homestead Tessie. I'll bring you back when I am done for the day in here. I won't say done completely because I don't know if I'll ever be completely done in this room. <laughs> Alright guys, I did it. I got it all done. I, I turned on my overhead lights so it's a little brighter in here. But my counter is completely cleaned off. 
I used this bin for my hot glue gun, and I'll put glue sticks in there when I get them. I'm completely out. Um, that bin is fabric of, for quilts and projects that I'm going to be working on. Uh, that bin I used, as you see, for my silk flowers. Got my ironing board cleaned off. And like I said, that mess is going to be there for a while. Got my floor vacuumed. My Goodwill box is empty, pretty much, except for I need to throw that away. So I can start filling that up again. I got all of this cleaned. I put this basket here to put sewing notions in. And I wanted to show my friend Carolyn. Sorry for the glare, but that tea towel you sent me, I had this poster frame and I framed it and it's hanging in my office. But that was just too pretty to, to do. I had to frame it. It was too pretty to throw in a drawer. <laughs> And then, yeah, it's all clean. I'm so happy. My printer area is even clean. This is just stuff, um, you know, decorating stuff that I'm not using right now. I put little things in that basket for projects that I'm working on. Um, this is that other container that I bought. It's for pens and my chocolate and things like that right by my computer so there we go guys I feel so much better now do you guys want to take bets on how long it's gonna stay this way <laughs> I don't I don't think we should because I, I don't have a very good feeling about it oh and I stacked those uh, little boxes right there I don't have anything in them yet I'm just kinda using them for decorative purposes right now this is what the family had for dinner. It was just a pasta dish. And this is what I had for dinner. I was just not feeling hungry at all. Um, the lunch I had just totally filled me up. So I just had some sautéed zucchini and onions and a fresh cucumber from our garden and a green pepper from our garden. Happy Friday, friends. I thought I'd close out my Week in the Life vlog outside with my friend Virginia here. Um, we're going to make it kind of a quick one because it is hot today and this video has really gone on long enough, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Um, I just wanted to clear up a couple of things. I had mentioned uh, just momentarily earlier in the week that something bad had happened and I never went back to say what it was. And basically what it was is um, one of my dad's goats died um, since my dad's been sick, Travis has been taking over the care of his goats, and so um, she, we think, got injured by the buck, and there was really nothing we could do for her, and she died, and so it was hard on everybody, but Travis kind of took it the hardest. He had kind of gotten kind of attached to the goats, so that's what I was referring to in that uh, on Tuesday. Another thing that happened was today we were over at my dad's picking um, vegetables and I had picked a big old bowl of Swiss chard which is a type of green I set the bowl down on the ground to go help my kids pick green beans and I turned my back for a minute and turned back around and Bo was lifted his leg and peed all over my bowl of greens. So, the chickens will get them tonight. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a good week and I hope you did too. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye. Yeah, I think we're done.
So this is what we had for dinner Friday night. We had uh, turkey meatballs, which I just bought from the freezer section at Walmart, plopped them in the oven, um, fresh veggies from the garden, and sautéed green beans that we had picked that morning. And the family also had french fries with theirs. And I just didn't have french fries with mine.